Hello everybody, welcome to another City Skylines episode with me, Rescal Tier. Today we are gonna be talking about some more transit options you can use in your city to make less traffic is basically what it's for. <laughs> so before we get into the video, I just want to say if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, dropping a like, commenting, all that good stuff. Also, I'm uploading some videos on Rumble as well. I have uploaded the City Skylines how to tutorial for 2021 episodes one to seven on there i did that today as soon as i woke up i did it so yeah so if you're on rumble check us check me out so consider subscribing and leaving a positive rating on there that'd be great without further ado let's get right into this uh this episode so you can see that we got the nighttime looking pretty cool looking pretty clean i was able to fix the mod my ultimate eye candy mod so now it looks the only problem is that I have to turn I have to turn all these down. So it doesn't it doesn't blind you when it goes into morning again. Perfect. Looking good. Looking good. So when we left off, we built this area over here. I don't know how it's going. We lost. But I got twenty thousand dollars in tickets, so that's pretty good. Good for me anyway. There goes our helicopter. Oh cool. Cool beans. Anyway, let's go into a little bit more for our transit options. So we got the trolley bus and the trolley bus is basically the same thing as a tram, except it's a bus. That's the only difference. So where the heck are we going to put that? I have no idea. <laughs> Brian did something like this. What if I went and I put it here, right? It's best to put it's best to put transit in your other transit just so they have an option to actually go somewhere else like these guys are probably gonna go to that bus stop over there most likely or they could use the uh the trolley bus like this right now they're not gonna like it and i'm sorry that you don't like it you know it is what it is but we're just doing it for expen experimental purposes. And this area is pretty busy with all our leisure going on. I'm not sure why it's deleting uh, buildings though, but whatever. There we go, just turn that around like this. And there, that's good enough. And then we're gonna find out, find a place anyway, to, to put this. Where am I gonna put this? <laughs> Didn't plan that part out, did I? Nope. We did not. Oh, I can look at that. We'll just take it and we'll just place it over on this side instead. Just somewhere to, to put it. All right, all experimental purposes. There we go. Oh, right. My bad. Didn't put in the uh, Raleigh Road. There we go. Now they have a spot to turn around. It's a little, a little weird, but whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Let us put back our monorail tracks. I'm going to click every single one until I find it. Here it is. There we go. We'll just let that go through there. There. Perfect. And then they got a way to turn around over here. So then we can take our trolley bus and then we can add in some stops just like just like so. So this is going to be a way to turn around, but I am going to put it over here first just to start it off. And then I'll put it over there. Yeah, everybody likes a trolley bus, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll put it over here. Just as many, like as many stops kind of as possible ish. Right? We'll put this one over here, which I'll then put it over here bring it around this way so this stop over here and then just bring it back again that all the way back over here that and then there and then just loop it and connect it there there we go perfect Cool, and that's gonna send out some trolley buses, or shoot anyway. Let's just watch it. There we go. Look at that trolley bus right there. This little orange trolley bus. 
and then just stays on the track and it just loops around like so loops around like so that's why it's best to try and use these in, in four lane roads because it does take up a lane so let's follow it actually here let's just follow it there we go front of the the depot again so that's good i like it looking good looking fresh let's check the lines see that they if uh if they're okay forgot how to do that <laughs> right here let's check the the trolley line is it this one there we go yeah We've got 22 passengers not a lot going on this one's got 89 that's right in our busy area so that's it's okay um, I think these shall spread out, so we'll be fine with that. We probably don't even need seven trolley or seven, uh, yeah, trolley buses. We probably don't even need seven of them, but we'll just keep them there, see how it goes. I would not know where to put the tram. You know what? We'll just make just to show you what it, what it, what you, how you do it anyway. You just take a road, just upgrade a road. Let's just upgrade this, just like so. Just get the that out of the way. And then you need a place for it to turn around. No, I, I would prefer for it to cover a bigger area. Like maybe go down this road instead. Let's try that. Let's, uh, let's, um, what did I upgrade? I upgraded that side. We're gonna turn this side back to how it was. We're gonna go this way instead. Because I want it to cover a bigger area. And I want it to cover a road that's not that busy. This road doesn't look that busy, so we'll just go down this road. All right. The key is to usually make just just make a make a loop. That's basically the key. And then when you get to here, right, you're gonna take your just your tram track like this, and then you're just gonna take it and you're just gonna make a circle to loop it back the other way. Doesn't 100% matter how it looks as long as it's a loop. I'm not that good at making just regular circles, but it is what it is. And then just goes back the same way it came. And there we go. And it's gonna go up across the park. We're gonna upgrade these before we forget to do that. Back to the trees again. And we have to put in that. Here it is, right here. This that I forgot to put in. That's not us to explain with. There we go. Put that back in before I forget. And there we go. A simple, a simple tram loop. You know what I'm saying? Simple tram loop. And then over here, it's gonna say, "Hey, how the heck do I turn around?" And you're gonna say, "Hey, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go off this road right here. You're gonna go off this road right here and just turn back around. That's it. Simple. You know? Boom. Turn back around. Easy mode." <laughs> I wonder if, if I put a path here, just right in here, I wonder if they will use it. Oh, I can't. I don't have the, the mod. Oh, I'm sad now. Dang it. Okay. What if I did that? Maybe they'll use that. Let's just see if my theory is correct. So then we'll have to... Oh my god. It's not as small as I thought it was going to be. Um, let, me, let me put a stop on there too. Oh, but I can't start from all, oh, all, oh, because I got on the wrong side. I'll, I'll be okay. <laughs> I got it on the wrong side is what it is. Okay, can it turn around though? If it comes back down this way, can it turn around? I'm gonna hope it can. We'll see, we'll see. Let's just make these stops. There you go. Doesn't really matter 100% where you place them because it's not gonna interrupt the traffic flow. 
because they stop on their own their own thing their own they do their own thing okay. let's put one in front of here put on this rotor here I think it will matter on this road though yeah it will matter on this road because it's not a two lane so they're not gonna have oh, that's a little close so they're not gonna have their own dedicated lane that's the only problem with that but you know it is what it is it is what it is i guess um i'm gonna make this one stop up there more and then we'll just place it right beside each other going backward we'll just do it this way it'll it'll be easier in the long run trust me <laughs> here we go and then the line there we go perfect then that'll send out the trams there we go let's go for a little joy ride There we go, a nice little joy ride right there. Look at it. So I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna need some two lanes going down this road. It doesn't look that busy. Maybe I won't, but I do like it. I do prefer the trams to be on the four lane, like these two lanes right here like this because they have their own dedicated tram lane and it doesn't interrupt the traffic I don't really like it going on this because it's gonna interrupt the traffic right so when these stop you'll see this truck car right here watch see it stops and then this car has to stop very annoying I could upgrade it all the way down but I'm not going to unless it gets worse I don't think it will I think it'll be fine what's the traffic at traffic is at 90 right there Jumped up to 3%. <laughs> what if we give them a pathway? Maybe this will help a little bit. What if we give them a pathway from here to here? And then they can use that pathway. I don't know if that's going to make a difference, actually. But whatever. It's there now. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. But there is a lot of them trying to turn into this lane right here. To go over here. To this spot right here. Hmm. I mean, it's not busy busy. They just want to turn that's it they all do go on this one road though so that could be a problem later down the road this up here maybe that'll help separate the traffic a little bit even though i don't really like it being on well, this kind of road right here but oh no that's a four lane road the four lane road yeah it should be okay that should be good no i'm gonna help these guys out by putting this right there there we go That'll probably help. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what happens. What if I help them even more? I'm making a tunnel. If I can. That just goes under here. Probably not a good idea. But it just does that. And then maybe they'll be more enticed to take this. Is that even what I probably want to say? Probably. <laughs> It is a shorter way for them to go, though. So, I mean, maybe 
maybe they'll want to take it jumps between 88 and 90 so that's that's still good you know that's still good eventually we'll see them probably take this road so that'll be okay uh is there anything else that i have to cover in here i did the metro i didn't do any of the train stuff i can't do the oh no i can i can do it right here uh, i think the shipping stuff will be its own episode uh probably the same thing with oh i don't have the airport unlocked yet okay never mind then i'm not sure what we do with the cable car though because i don't have anything to use it on unlock this square to use the cable carts okay so i'm gonna build in a different episode i'll build a um, and maybe an amusement park somewhere over here but also a not a zoo a nature reserve there we go a little nature reserve up in here somewhere that probably look nice right so we'll do that in a different episode as well we'll do a little nature reserve maybe get a zoo in here some other stuff we'll, we'll see we'll see and then uh, we're going to do the shipping stuff first so I can get that all sorted out and out of the way. We will, however, do the train stuff right now. Because where there was a train track, there is a train track over here. The cargo has to go off own road. Okay, so this is going to have to be a one lane road going out like this. Because the cargo gets very, very busy no idea so it's best to make like a snake kind of thing yeah try and get as close as i can over there okay best to make a one way pretty big line roughly big line yeah if i had the movement mod i'd make it look better is it connected though yeah this one over here connected yeah okay there's the cargo hub Simple, easy. Uh, let's read it because I actually forgot to read the other stuff too. So the cargo train terminal. Build a cargo train terminal to allow trains to carry goods and raw materials. Cargo trains can operate inside the city or within and outside it. Connection. Build stations and connect them with train tracks before using the train line tool to make a line. There you go. And then we have the train stations. Now the train stations are meant to carry the people further right so if i didn't build everything in this one square right here maybe like two if i didn't put everything in these two squares right here and i just patched it out in different areas probably would have made it look a lot better but it is what it is but i'll give you a rough idea of how to use like these so you're gonna want them near somewhere relatively close to a train track right and it can't be too busy okay so you don't want to put it on any of the main roads because they do get pretty busy but you can probably put it on a four square or a four lane road to be honest you got to make sure that you can properly connect the train tracks to it that's the only thing mm, i think you know what fine then you know what i'm gonna wait for the train track i won't do the train tracks yet for the train stations let me and i can't do the airport stuff yet this is all the blimps and the thing and that's the taxi we could do tours i mean but i'm gonna probably hold off for the tours as well a oh, hot air balloon tour sightseeing bus tour yeah we'll hold off for the tours for now i don't i don't have anything built up to actually show anything for the tours we could do a post office though. Let's put the post office over here. Maybe not next to the jail, but over here somewhere. I would just put it next. <laughs> we'll put it over here. Okay. And then post sorting facility. Look at that. Which I can't put. I could have put it over here. Dang it. Oh no, I couldn't have. Dang it. There we go. Post sorting facility. And there we go post office we need to live parcel each post office maintain a small fleet of post vans to collect and mail locally oh don't need that there we need it in here somewhere that's where we need it post office post office as far as that go it was relatively far actually post office
post office. I don't know if these guys need post office, but post office. <laughs> Let's just see what turns blue. If all these are red, that means that they can all get mail. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that means they can all get mail. I'm not wrong about that. Right? Let's just put these here anyway and see what happens. Post office. Post office. I don't see why these would need post offices, but whatever. Post office. Get your mail, boy. There we go. Need to be a post office over here, so post office. Yeah. Post office. Post office. <laughs> the post office. Boom. Good enough. Well, I could probably make the whole city blue, but I won't do that. I don't want to do that. There we go. Niggas delivered. And then we need. Oh, these are transport hubs. Oh. Well, I ain't gonna mess with those because my city is no, not even anywhere close. To even being able to use those, <laughs> nowhere close. And my city is not that big. But since it's here, I'll use it. But that's not what I'm looking for, though. There we go. Glad to get rid of a bunch of houses right there, but. It's near the park, so it's fine. Whatever. I was looking for uh, the road maintenance friggin' building. Here it is, right here. Road maintenance depot. Yeah, yeah, this guy. I want this guy in my, in my, in my city, please. I'm gonna put you over here, though. Boom. Go do your thing. Doesn't go uh, really far. But... I can use some of the stuff to my advantage that I have though, so that's good. This for example. Then this keeps your roads maintained so that they can actually go faster on the roads. The cars can go faster. Anyway. The roads and they can go faster on your highways too. Right? And you just want them to get the heck to where they're going for the cars. There you go. Just throw them in some random spots. Make sure that the roads are covered. They don't produce noise pollution that I see. So that's good. Throw it anywhere and let it happen. Let's add in some of these. Over here. So they need fire coverage. Okay. I already have some in here. I, I think I do actually. I don't remember adding them in though. But I guess I do somewhere. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just add one of these over here. Just throw them where there's a bunch of trees. Let's let's be real. Throw them where there's a bunch of trees. Like this, for example. Way the heck over here. Definitely needs one of those. <laughs> Hundred percent. There's just a bunch of trees over here. Nothing but trees over here. There we go. Cool, cool. There we go. Perfect. Good enough. So if you have your natural disasters turned on, I don't think I do. But you can use these buildings too. So they, uh, these help prevent fires uh, in forest area by sending the helicopters out earlier. It's best to have these actually around in, in good places because fires can happen pretty much anywhere and they can just come out of nowhere too. So make sure you have a relatively good amount of the fire helicopter in your city and you want them near at the lake. So it's not gonna be that far of a journey. To go get water to put the fire out okay and then for the natural disasters if you have that dlc these are some of the things you get to prevent the natural disasters so this disaster response unit building sends out helicopters and trucks to help clear the rubble and rescue survivors they handle both disaster aftermath and burn down buildings after the unit has done their work the ground is free to rebuild this building can go right there oh what the heck did i do oh i used the tram by accident Cool, cool. There we go. Perfect. And then there's more in here. So you got your small emergency shelter. So your citizens will evacuate to these kind of shelters, right? And if you set it up correctly, where I didn't, because I don't have the disasters on, you can put bus depots and stuff around it to help them better. 
Um, and then you have your large ones, which does basically the same thing as a small one, but it's large instead of small. <laughs> there you go. You also got to watch where you place these because they do create um, like, a, like a crosswalk like that. So depending on where you place it, it may or may not make more traffic or cause more problems for you. We we'll just throw these in here just in case. I mean, it doesn't hurt. They hold up a reasonable amount of stuff. How much do they hold? 10,000. And we have 40,000. Okay. These ones hold 1,000. So I would need about five of these to fill up my city. But we're not going to do that. Then you have the radio masses. So you got the short one. You got the long one. These are usually on top of... Usually on top of mountains. Most of the time. I don't know why. They usually way the heck up there though. Doing their thing. <laughs> we'll just put the long one up here. And we'll put the short one. Actually, the long one covers more area. So we just put the long one. It's going to look a little weird probably. But we just put that there. And then what will happen? Look at all the smiles. It's a huge wave of smiles right there. They love it. They love it. There you go. I don't think anything happened because oh there we go now it's now it's going to show the coverage so the darker area is the immediate coverage and then as it goes out it has less and less coverage so this area right here will have the immediate coverage and then out and out it gets less and less I, there's no people over here that i know of so i mean does it really matter if i put a thing over here probably not but just to make it look quote unquote cool <laughs> we'll put one here anyway there we go is it going to do the other side? Okay, good. I'm going to say what the heck, man. There we go. Put one there, too. Yeah, look at that. Looking good. And then we'll put a nice little short one right here. There we go. See? Learning with Rescal Team. Learning a bunch of good stuff. Now, this is the cargo area right here. Uh, one, there should not be traffic lights here. Okay? There shouldn't be traffic lights here or here. Because it's going to get extremely busy. We want them to get the heck out of there. That's for sure. It'll clear itself up. It's clearing itself up pretty good right now. They're only turning right from this side. They're only going right anyway. So the cargo makes stuff extremely busy. And it is what it is. So here we got the earthquake sensor. Right? So you just plop these around. I'll let you know when an earthquake is happening right there. See? They have the immediate... Uh, Immediate note of you can just plop them anywhere. It doesn't matter where you plop them, right? And 100% doesn't matter where you plop them. Just as long as you put them somewhere. There you go. It senses it sensors for earthquakes. Then you got your tsunami boy warnings, which you want to get them as far out as you possibly can. And it'll let you know when a tsunami comes, but you won't know the tsunami is coming until it hits these buoys. So the further out, the better. This is just a lake, so that's not going to matter. So if a tsunami was going to come in this map, it would come from over there. Weather radar, so that when you get severe thunderstorms like lightning and thunder, and then sometimes it'll hit these buildings and it'll cause fires and stuff. This will let you know what's going to happen, right? It'll let you, it'll warn you ahead. And then you got your satellite dish. I probably should just put these two on different sides. I should have put this over here. There you go. And then you got your satellite dish. This will let you know when a meteor is coming, right? You put those side by side, look good looking noise. There you go. Now I'm, I might turn on natural disasters just so you see how it looks later. Not right now, but later, which is also another reason why I'm not putting too much focus onto the city because it's going to get destroyed later anyway, to show you the natural disaster stuff. Uh, that was actually the first DLC that I purchased when I started playing this game. I would recommend you not purchase that when you first started playing this game, even though it's cool and it looks fun. But if you don't know how to rebuild your city, it's going to make more problems for you. That's the only thing. So I would highly recommend just playing the vanilla first, learning how things work, and then putting DLC on top of it one at a time. That's what I would do personally. So, but you can do whatever you want. Don't have to, don't, you have to listen to me. Do whatever you want to do. Like I said, I think that's I think that's it. I, I totally forgot that these were hubs. I t totally forgot that I had these. Yeah, well, like I said, my city is not big enough to actually for it to actually matter where to put those. So I 
I kind of use these things wrong. Um, I kind of use these things wrong, but in a way, I mean, they're they're still working, they're still going, but so it's okay. What if I just put these on empty? What would happen? Like, would it go to the crematorium? Would it go to the crematorium? I hope so. We'll we'll see if that works. Go in somewhere. Oh, this is a hearse, is it? Yeah, right here. Where's it going? Relocating corpses to crematorium. Okay, good. So yes, it does go to the crematorium. Do I have one near here? I do right here. But it has to go around. There we go. Now it just has to go this way and then back this way. There we go. That'll make it easier for them just to drop that off very quickly. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. In the next episode, we will have to build out the... Actually, we have to do the factory stuff first. All this stuff. We still have to do our oil. And we still have to do our ore as well. So that's not going to be good because I've just unlocked that for the nature reserve. Unless I put the nature reserve... Or unless I put the ore over on this side. And then the oil here. But I wanted that to be like the, the boat stuff. So I guess we'll put... Uh, we'll put the boat stuff on this side when we unlock this square. We'll put the boat and stuff on that side. Since the train track there. Okay. So we're not going to be able to do that in the next episode unless I focus on... Okay, we'll focus on building the city first, I guess. We'll focus on building it up. Building up this little space right here with stuff. We'll unlock Metrolopolis. And then that way I can cover the monuments and whatever else stuff that I have to cover. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you are building cities along with me and learning a lot of stuff. As I said, I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.